Hey guys, it's Kara here, and I'm very excited to do a new series that I think you guys are really gonna love. I'm gonna start a new healthy meal makeover series. Um, I kinda got this idea because first of all, I became a registered dietitian, not because I loved eating like lettuce and nuts and berries, but because I love eating all different kinds of food. I love junk food just as much as I love healthy food. And I got into this field to learn more about healthy eating and how to help people become healthier. Um, so that's partly why I wanna do this series, to show you that you can make all foods fit, moderation, not deprivation. So the other reason I've been loving Dame Drops YouTube, and we will um, give you the information to check out his YouTube, He's freaking hilarious, and we've been watching his uh, channel a lot, actually like on our way to the gym or from the gym, and he goes to all different kinds of fast food places and reviews different um, new fast food items that have super got me craving food items, like those fast food items because he describes them in a way that makes you wanna jump through the camera and go eat it with him. So what I'm gonna do is start taking some common fast food items and giving them my dietitian healthy makeover so that they're more realistic, they fit your macros better, and um, I think you're really gonna like it. So what I'd like from you guys to do is comment below on what items you would like me to see makeover um, that you can get out to eat at restaurants, fast food, really whatever you want, you can make at home and significantly reduce um, the fat, the sodium, the carbs. And what I'm gonna do today is gonna kinda keep the protein content, content the same to try to keep it comparable, just to, just to show you how much you can cut back on all those other areas. So what I'm gonna do today by request is do a healthy makeover of a McDonald's favorite. It's a bacon cheese quarter pounder um, with a medium fry. So that's a very commonly um, picked item at McDonald's. So today I'm gonna to make that over for you and I'm gonna keep it as quick and convenient as possible because most people are choosing fast food because it's cheap and because it's quick. But let me tell you, I drive by those fast food places and people are in lines like a mile long. It's not as fast as you might think. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make this over at home. So for a bacon cheeseburger, what I'm gonna do for that quarter pounder, it's a four ounce burger. I always buy the 95% lean burger from Wegmans. You guys can get it whatever grocery store you like. We buy it in the club pack and what we do is kind of portion it out in four ounce portions, baggy it up and keep it in the freezer. So we always have it readily accessible. So I've got a plain four ounce burger here that I'm gonna throw on the stove top. I'm gonna use that. For my bacon, I'm using today the Oscar Mayer Center Cut Original Bacon. Um, you could use turkey bacon as well. That would cut down considerably on the fat. And um, I like the center cut because it tastes just like real bacon. It's much lower in fat and it gives you a good amount of protein as well. So today I'm gonna use one slice of this bacon. For my bun, what I'm gonna use are the Pepperidge Farms 100% whole wheat hamburger buns. Um, a lot of times when you go out to eat fast food, they're smothering butter and other junk on the, on the bread that's not necessary. So this, making this at home is an easy way to cut that out. Um, for additions, for cheese, I'm gonna use the Velveeta original slice cheese. It's kind of ripped open here. Only 35 calories in one slice of that. So I'm gonna use that. One thing I love about McDonald's, they're the one place that does those teeny tiny diced onions that you find hidden on your burgers. So I had some sweet onion at home, dice that up. For fries, what I chose to use were the, I don't know how you say it, or Ida fries, um, they're steak fries. Um, take a look at what you guys have in your grocery stores. Yes, this is a convenience item, but cleaning, peeling a potato, slicing it up. You could do it that way as well, but I'm doing this to show you the convenience of it and that it's still a healthy option. So I'm gonna cook 3.9 ounces of this because that's comparable to a medium fry. Let me show you what that looks like. For steak fries, that's what 3.9 ounces on the T weighs out to. So it's a pretty, pretty decent portion right there, okay? So I think that's everything. What I'm gonna use is the um, olive oil, non-fat cooking spray, so I'm not adding any butter to this. And I'm gonna cook my burger and my slice of bacon right here on my stovetop. 
and I'm gonna get my fries in the oven at 450 degrees and they're probably gonna take about 15 minutes to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that roll in here. I like my bacon crispy. This is a little too wet still. I'm gonna let that keep crisping. Gonna let the burger still cook. Fries are in the oven. And take a moment for a shameless, shameless plug for myself. I've got my new healthy cooking, the MTS way. Um, available now through tigerfitness.com. So if you want to support your girl, head there and you can purchase this along with all your MTS goodies. I do appreciate all your support. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys, so I really appreciate it. And my husband, in fact, put this whole thing together, all the photos, all the editing, all the design. He's titties approved, so uh, he did an awesome job on this. So please check this out for you guys that want to check out more recipes with whey. So it's my cookbook and I'm still cooking here a little bit longer. All right guys, so total prep time for my fast food meal was about 15 minutes, really depending on how crispy you like your fries. So how freaking perfect does this burger look? Like I want it to talk dirty to me right now. It just looks so good. Um, I got my diced onions on here, my bacon, Decided to leave off the crunchy water and <laughs> the useless tomato. Let's be honest, I don't want it on there. I'll eat my veggies separate, okay? All it does is take away from the flavor of everything I got going on on there. So look how delicious this looks. Most people would also get some type of big ass soda with it. I'm just gonna have some Diet 7-Up. I'm not gonna deprive myself of some soda. I want a little soda with my fast food meal. So I got all this going on. Some no sugar added ketchup, which you also cannot get at McDonald's. So the differences we will post for you, but are pretty phenomenal. My meal totals only 497 calories, 40 grams of protein, 15 fat, 52 carbs, and it's still a little high in sodium considering, you know, everything I have here is higher sodium options, um, 1,059 milligrams. However, compared to McDonald's, McDonald's meal would be 48 grams of fat, 1,710 milligrams of sodium, 96 carbs, and 41 protein. So I kept the protein the same and cut back all the shit. Tons lower in fat, considerably lower in carbs, considerably lower in sodium. And I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna taste so much more delicious in only 15 minutes time. So um, I'm gonna get on eating this for you. I'll give you a little, I'm so hungry right now. Mm. That's so much better than McDonald's. Cause there isn't all that weird shit in it. Yeah, I talk with my mouth open by the way. <laughs> Nothing weird in it. I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. And like if you eat McDonald's, it looks a little creepy. So I don't have any guilt about this. I'm taste these suckers too. Mm-hmm. Yep. And these are pretty natural too, even though I got convenience freezer fries. Good stuff. So uh, I'm going to make more of these videos for you guys. You guys should check out Dame Drops every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh. And if you don't know why I just did that, go check out his videos. He'll make you smile. He'll make you laugh and probably make you want a meal like I just created. So if you guys like this video, please hit that little button. Give it a thumbs up for me and comment below what other uh, food makeovers you'd like to see me do, fast food healthy makeovers, and I'll do those for you guys. Um, don't forget, tigerfitness.com. You can go there, use discount code Kara to get 5% off any of your MTS goods. You can check out my cookbook. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Sub if you don't already, and we'll see you soon. I'm going to finish my, my guilt-free fast food now. Those only have 21 grams of carbs and five, five grams of fiber. These are the sandwich thins. 100% whole wheat with flat with flax and fiber. So I think I might do these. Well, you could show both. 
You could still do that. I put those back. We're gonna get these whole wheat buns. 100% whole wheat. And there's a $1.50 coupon on it. Wait. No, I have to buy two. I'm not buying two, I lie. 22 carbs, three grams of fiber, only a gram and a half of fat. That ain't bad. Seven you, grams of protein. You ain't on that I ain't hating on those macros for that big soft bun. Look, soft. It's soft. I like my buns to be soft. Soft and big. Yeah. So Walmart doesn't have the best selection of frozen french fries, but they've got a bag of steak fries here. This was the lowest I found in fat, three grams of fat in a serving. All the other varieties had anywhere from three to like seven and a half grams of fat. So you have to kind of check. It really depends on the variety. And not too many ingredients added, which I like. They're a little more natural. Um, there's always going to be a little oil added and some other preservatives, but not too bad. Three grams of fat, 19 carbs, and a three ounce serving for steak fries. They're pretty big, so try those babies out. That easy? We're going to do 205. Bitch, you ain't benching. You got to put some weight up on there. And this was her I'm previous like, PR. P previous PR was 205. And she drops it. Little baby hands touching your face. I all do. paranoid. Everyone always, I do the same thing. If I'm going to lift something heavy, I'm all like. Yeah. Uh, 